show you some of the top places to visit. It is a bank holiday and the weather's really nice. As you can see from the surroundings around, you've got the pier. I'm going to actually do some video footage of the attraction. If you want to find out more, then please go to my website. Now, I arrived in Weston really early in the morning. As you can see, the businesses are only just setting up and getting ready for a full day ahead. Now, the Grand Pier, now this actually burnt down in 2008 and was rebuilt. There is a £1 entry cost to enter the pier, but for today, I've actually focused on the outdoor attractions. As you can see, you've got the open top bus also, which will take you around Weston. So in a moment, I'm going to show you the Sand Sculpture Festival, which I met a girl called Samira and um, she was able to tell me lots about the Sun Sculpture Festival itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look in here now. So this actually has 36 sculptures built on site and this actually has artists from all over the world. Here are a few of my favourite shots that I took of the sculptures whilst on site. For more information on ticket prices and opening hours, please do visit www.westernsandsculpture.co.uk. Being open, it's actually open for various charities for the blind. And they come in and they fill the sculptures before they're all knocked down. There's a lot of info on site of how these sculptures are built. There's even a video there also. <laughs> <laughs> there are lots of activities on the seafront for you to enjoy. Three pounds for a ride. Great fun for the kids. And adults. It's never, it's never and for adults, for adults as well. For all ages. All ages entirely. You can have a go yourself if you like. I might give that one a miss. <laughs> Thank you. Next on the list is Funland, which used to be the Tropicana. So with free entry, you pay for your rides, the your tokens. There are all different types of rides on site, just so all different members of a family. Um, there's a lot of fun there to be had at Funland. Like I said, I was actually there when it was very quiet because it was very early in the morning um, and it gets very busy indeed. This gives you an idea of some of the rides that's at Funland. Even the staff enjoy working there. But next on the list, I'm going next door to Stars of Time from a comic convention. So we're going to interview Dave Burrows. Hi Dave, so what's going on? Well, it's in the Tropicana on Sunday and Monday. And it's back holiday weekend. Um, there's so much to do and see. And we've got some guests from TV and film. There's Andrew Lee Potts, who was in Primeval and Lucky Man recently. We've got Hannah Sparrow from S Club 7 and Primeval as well. And we've got the Seventh Doctor himself, Sylvester McCoy, which can also have your photo taken. Clem So as well. He was in James Bond? Yeah, he was in um, Spectre. Oh. Huh? And they're all signing autographs so you can get a signed picture for yourself. Um, Lots of dialects coming, you can see one coming through the door. Oh, let's have a look at that. So, you're going to get quite busy, and you say that people are actually getting dressed up yeah, as well. Yeah, costumers, um, hundreds of people in different sort of costumes. There's a costume competition at one o'clock. Oh, what did you win? Um, what was it, a £50 cash prize. Oh, that's pretty good. And you've got JPS, the spray artist who's doing live paintings and selling his limited 
exhibition pictures. Fantastic. Um, What's the atmosphere like? It'd be busy. Oh, it'll be really busy. It's good. Because you've good done experience. quite a few here before. Yeah. And I've got another one coming up in December where we've got Paul McGann coming, who was the eighth doctor who took over from Sylvester McCall. And did you say that he was also in or will be in Holby City? Yeah, Holby City from December, so he's got a main part in that as well. Um, and December's going to have a back cave with two Batmobiles which are going to be in this part, which is going to be in the darkness all lit up as well. So, so Western Supermare tomorrow on the seafront, um, you're going to see quite a few people in, in some spectacular gear. And, uh, lots of stormtroopers, Darth Vader, Chewbacca. And people take this quite seriously when they go to these events, don't they? Magic hours doing their costumes. I think that's fantastic. So, okay, like I say, we're just having a look around now while it's having the setup, um, and hopefully tomorrow you're going to be absolutely heaving by the sounds of it. And lots of, like you say, lots of autographs um, and, and pictures to be taken. Yeah, if you with got your ticket, you can pay on the pay on the door as well. So it's no trouble. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Dave. Right. Thank Thanks. You, now you can't really go to Western and takes the children to have a go on the donkeys. I know that as a young child I experienced going to Western Beach having a go on the donkeys. It's actually in most people's memories. Um, the owners down there are very friendly indeed um, and I actually thought it was a, a pretty cheap ride um, to have a quick go. Um, go there, pet the donkey and um, have a little go on the actual seafront itself. Whilst I was there, I met one of the business owners that hires out the horses and the actual donkeys itself. Then I popped along and met his wife Anne. Anne hires out the sun loungers and the deck chairs for the seafront. the Grand Pier is starting to get quite busy. I do hope you enjoyed this video and it gives you many reasons to come to Western Supermare. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and if you could subscribe that would be amazing.